Hello friends, welcome back to Mycology Exploration. We're here in the still air box and I'm actually not wearing gloves. Everything is covered in alcohol. You can see this light layer that I sprayed and I'm gonna need to open this jar so the gloves aren't gonna work. So I just sprayed my hands with some alcohol and this is gonna be quick so it's good. There's so much alcohol in the still air box right now, I'm good. So what we have here is purified water that's been pressure cooked. The husband pressure cooked this, it's 200 milliliters of water. He pressure cooked it for 40 minutes. So it is sterile water here in this container. And then here I have two agar plates, agar dishes in these very large jars. And we're gonna be creating slurries. So I already have a few videos for you about slurries, and I already put one up before this explaining a little bit what we're doing here. So if you need to jump out and go see that one, you can certainly do that. So what we've done here is created this MEA, MEA agar plate in the bottom of this very large jar. What we did was we put in a transfer from an agar plate in the middle and it grew out all the way to the sides. You can see all the way out. And it looks gorgeous. And what we're gonna do is pour in 100 milligrams of water and then we're gonna create this slurry by stirring it around, mixing it around. And I wanted to show you how thin the agar is here. We did these before and we created too thick of an agar and it did not break up. Again, I mentioned this in the video I posted before this one. And so this one, we're gonna add 100 milligrams of water and we're gonna stir it around and create the slurry and then we can create more of this sterilized water in the pressure cooker and add more. But first, we've gotta break it up with 100 milligrams of water. And when we tried this before, we experimented. One, we put 100 milliliters, another one we put 200, and another one we filled it up, 400 milliliters. And the ones that we filled more water in, they didn't break up. They didn't break up. Now, the mycelium is gorgeous in there, but there's a giant agar plate just swirling around in the jars, and that's not what we want. We want it to be a slurry and break up that agar at the bottom. So we're gonna do this here in this video together, and I'm just gonna pour 100 milligrams each into these jars, and then we're gonna create the slurries out of that. So here we go. This is a real-time video here for you guys. I am just opening this jar, okay? So it's unscrewed for me. I'm gonna go fast. I'm gonna make sure these are open. I'm sure you heard that, the seal was released, so now I can go really fast here. And I'm just looking on the side. So I can see it's 100 milligrams. Quickly put the lid back on. Okay. Got a little bit extra, so we're gonna go here. There we go. Now I'm gonna put the rings back on. Actually, I'm gonna spray it with alcohol. And then I'm gonna put the rings back on. Now, I do not have modded tops on these. And the other slurries we created had a modded top for air exchange. And I think what we're gonna do is end up switching out the lids here once we fill it up and it, it's a slurry and then put the modded top on. Because we were having a problem with when we were stirring it around, creating the slurry, it was coming up to the modded top lid. So again, when things don't work out, it's just a great experiment and a learning process from there. So now here we have them with water. So I'm just gonna be stirring. Okay. 
And you'll see here that the agar plate came unattached from the bottom. Okay. I'm just gonna pull these out for you and we can take a good look at them. You can see all the alcohol in the still air box there. So do you see how that agar plate is just spinning around in there? And what's going to happen is we're going to keep breaking it up, breaking it up, and that agar is going to split up and it's going to turn into a slurry. And you can see this one is still attached to the bottom. And the more you mix it, it becomes a slurry. There it goes. It just released. So when there's this modded top and you're stirring it, it was coming out and it wasn't good. So I think while we're stirring it, it's good to not have the modded top. And so our plan is, is for it to break up with the 100 milligrams and then we're gonna add more water and we'll put our modded tops on them. This one, if you saw the video before, was too thick. This agar was way too thick. These are thinner. So we learned about slurries from Willie's World and he's got a few videos over on his channel, Willie's World, about this if you wanna know more about the slurries from him. He puts together very lengthy edited videos with a lot of explanation, and that might be something you want to see. We were just really happy with the slurry. The mycelium is gorgeous. It's just that agar never broke up. And so the next thing here is I'm gonna take a syringe of this slurry and a syringe of this liquid culture LC and put it to new liquid culture inside the still air box here. So this is new liquid culture ready to go. So we do this quite often. We'll take a syringe of something and put it to a new liquid culture. It's all about longevity and the mycelium suspended in nutrients. We'll see you in the next video. Much love, friends.